29 BH Grey Wolf here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Apologize if you hear some tractor noise. We're selling over 100 a month down here and we've got them coming and going constantly. We just got to hit them as they come to us. This has a limited package on it and uh, this is kind of a good time to mention you will see some options and upgrades on this trailer that are not standard equipment. So uh, I'll try to touch on those as we go through here. So if you see that your pictures or the, uh, the listing that we describe looks a little different from this one, then you understand why. Um, the uh, limited package is a bundle of upgrades and options available only to really high volume uh, Grey Wolf and Cherokee dealers. Um, the, uh, it's basically about 3800 bucks worth of stuff we kind of get as an incentive from uh, Forest River that you don't necessarily have to pay for. Things like power awning, power tongue jack, outside TV, a lot of not just your entertainment but convenience items that you're going to get all the time are, are bundled into that package. A lot of it is stuff you'd want anyway. Some of it is cosmetic, but again, you're not really paying for the upgrade on that. I've got a little battery box hooked up here to show some lights for you, but notice you do have a twin battery rack here. So if you want to do a lot of dry camping, you can hook up um, either double 12 volts or uh, a pair of 6 volts in, uh, you know, in series to give you some really excellent dry camp time. Um, if you're not familiar, a pair of 6 volt batteries versus 112 volt will last you longer. It is uh, significantly more expensive, however. If you're going to be uh, parked in a park most of the time, you don't need to pay the money for the extra 6 volts. Um, you see that we have some really big windows in here, and that is one thing that these are excellent for, is having some really large windows. Um, gives you lots of light, and on a dreary overcast day like today, today's a perfect example of why you'd want a trailer like this. This doesn't really translate well to video, but the whole side of their slide out is textured. If you listen, you can hear my fingernails ripping over a, a really rough surface. What that's doing is it's really pulling these slides tight so you get the best chance of having the best seal possible. I noticed that the roofing material, it overlaps over the sides of this thing, about six inches. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will put their roof material seams on their slide outs right at the top, right at that corner, and that's um, just an easier way for a, a failure to occur. When you wrap it over the side like that, it's very difficult for failures to occur. The travel rack that you see back here, it's roughly about a 200, 250 pound uh, cargo accessory type tray. Um, you notice it doubles as your spare tire carrier. You do not have to take the um, tire off to drop that rack down. Uh, these are all pre-prepped for a Furion wireless backup system, which is really cool. Uh, wireless camera, effectively. Travel trailers and, and fifth wheels are getting so darn long now, and uh, people are moving them alone more and more and more. So it's nice to be able to see behind you before you accidentally bump into a tree or something like that. Or, God forbid, the neighbor's trailer or your house or anything. Now. 29BH is a quad uh, bunk model, meaning four rear bunks. There is an option where you can put an outdoor kitchen out here. This one that we're looking at obviously does not have that. We're really big on the outdoor kitchens here at Haylitz, and a lot of times that's how we have brought this unit in. But not every single person needs or wants that outdoor kitchen. Some people just really want that extra sleeping room. What's nice too is underneath that bottom bunk you get some extra storage, so there are advantages to going both ways. Um, we will generally enclose the underbelly of these. You see that LED light strip up there. Man, that thing looks awesome on it. Nice dreary overcast day like today, you can really see that. On a bright sunshiny day when I'm normally filming these, you can't. So again, the awning's power. Push a button, the awning rolls in or out. What's nice about that is if you wake up and it's raining, you don't have to go outside and get beaten down by the weather. Plus, at night, you see how the bottom of this is white? This blue glow is just going to shed a nice, awesome blue neon glow over your entire uh, campsite. It's going to look great. A lot of people are going to be walking by going, look at that. Now your TV uh, that is included with the limited package, that mounts right here. It can go inside or outside. The TV can float. You see these speakers, they do connect to your DVD and stereo. Your TV and uh, everything plugs in down here. So if you're watching a movie or a race inside, you can also watch the same movie or race outside. It's very cool. <clears throat> now you see here above the slide out, they have more of this really neat LED accent lighting. Now what's really nice about that is here in a bunkhouse at night, you can turn that on and it doesn't generally off uh, offend anyone or keep anyone awake, but it will give them... Um, like a nightlight sort of fixture going on so you don't necessarily have to turn on lights if you need to sneak to the bathroom real quick at night. Um, the uh, color scheme we're looking at here, it's called natural or doe, I can't remember which, they look very similar. Um, they have a uh, like a leatherette type sofa and a neutral earth tone here 
and uh, different fabrics on things like your window coverings or your dinette. I'm mentioning this because, again, the pictures might look slightly different from what you see in this video. Don't panic, you know, it's, uh, the pictures generally represent the actual unit. This video is here to kind of show you the, uh, you know, the ins and the outs of the unit. Now, something you may have noticed is these big giant windows over here, uh, they open uh, for some huge ventilation. You see that 50% of this window pane can slide open on both of these. And basically, is I, I don't think there's one that'll prove me wrong, but anywhere in this coach you see a window, it will open for ventilation. Now, we also like in the living room to upgrade to these nice wooden plantation blinds because they just they look uh, so much better and they clean easy. Now, on the outside of the coach, there's storage back here. Everyone always asks, what is this for? There is storage outside, but what's kind of cool is when you're sitting on the sofa, let's say you're just kind of sitting here watching TV, it gives you the perfect place to put a drink. It's it's out of the way. You're not going to, like, bump it and knock it down. It's very convenient in that respect. Uh, seamless engineered countertops. This is really cool. Uh, there's nowhere for water to get in here. It's all, it's basically just a resonance, effectively waterproof. And you notice it's all one piece. There's no seams where water can get in and cause swelling and soft spots. You have matching sink cover inserts with a giant sink basin. If you have giant pots and pans you want to put in there, this is the one to do it with. But what's cool is this thing becomes just one gigantic countertop. So it actually has more usable counter space than virtually anything else this size. Normally uh, quad bunk uh, campers like this don't have a whole lot in the kitchen, but this one really maximizes your space. It also helps that your stovetop cover here is the glass top cover. That is giving you even more countertop space, but it can still fold up to act as sort of like your, uh, your backsplash. Now your overhead cabinets here are exceptionally deep and large. And a lot of people don't realize how big those actually are. Let me actually see. Hold on just a second. Ah, perfect. We all know what this is. Looks about the size of a dinner plate, right? Okay, well, just to show you how big this cabinet is, you see how much extra space is back there. Um, we do generally centralize the AC on these. That is something that in this class is not always standard. Uh, even though it's the same size air conditioner you'll find on other trailers, the fact that it's centralized means it works so much better. Um, your big King U dinette here folds down into about a seven foot sleeper. Not to mention the fact that you have this awesome storage under both sides of the booth here. And this is actually the same stuff your floor and your roof are made out of. It's half inch tongue and groove plywood. Uh, you're not going to see like OSB in the floor in this thing. As you come back to the bunkhouse here, you have a multi-purpose cabinet. This could be a pantry. This could be a wardrobe for the bunkhouse. It could be um, just general linen storage, like towels for the uh, for the bathroom here. Bathroom is generally pretty uh, rank and file. You've seen other bathrooms like this, but notice that they are using the nicer countertops here, even in the bathroom. They don't use press board countertops anywhere in this coach. And as a member of the Cherokee family, they do have the largest medicine cabinets in their class. That is one of those things that isn't, people are like, oh, big deal. It's, it is a big deal. When you go out camping, that medicine cabinet is the thing you use every single day. It's nice that it's large and has more storage. Now you see you get the bigger ceiling fan here, not that little plastic four inch fan. These things push a tremendous amount of air. Very nice to see something like that. You don't normally see those, historically speaking, in the RV industry until you get up to big fifth wheels. Again, with four bunks, you have storage below the lower bunk. You see every bunk gets its own window. Uh, every bunk gets its own light source. Uh, there is a uh, entertainment center right here for the kids. So again, on a day like today where you probably are going to be stuck inside more than going outside, you're going to love having the extra space back here. And the fact a quad bunkhouse offers you privacy options that open type bunkhouses don't. Now this is something that the Grey Wolf and Cherokee trailers are awesome about. I call it the socks and underwear drawer, but just a general purpose drawer that they mount under the bunks where it doesn't take up any space. It's just bonus storage. And stuff like this is so helpful. Mom and dad, if you have that, you know, you're, you're trying to head out the door, you know right where you can grab some socks. You don't have to dig through their bag, things like that. Um, moving forward here, little stuff I like to point out is a shoe garage. Just a handy little space where you can tuck shoes. Um, you know, otherwise, if you've ever been in a bunkhouse, uh, like I have, when you go camping, shoes always end up in this big, ugly pile by the door. This way, they give you a spot. You can, you can still just, you'll have a big pile of shoes, but it's not going to trip anybody up, and that's what's really nice about it. Now, the Stone Look um, Entertainment Center here is part of that uh, limited package, and again, you see that matching TV bracket. 
it uh, mounts right here. Uh, stereo CD DVD system, so it's an all-in-one entertainment, inside, outside speakers. Not extremely uncommon, but in this class and at this price point, having something like true privacy doors for your bedroom, that is pretty uncommon. Most of the time, bedrooms in a uh, traditional bunkhouse class have curtains, not doors. So that is a nice uh, upgrade privacy feature. This box, by the way, is the TV that's included with the limited package, a 26-inch LED television. Uh, if you're curious the difference between LED and LCD, not a massive difference, but LEDs are a little bit higher color quality. Um, the uh, Basically, the blacks are blacker. Other than that, they're pretty similar. Now, you notice where you don't have those wooden plantation blinds, you do have nicer nightshades on here. Um, and check out the size of the windows here in the bedroom, just letting in a cascade of light into your bedroom space here. Um, there is storage under the bed, and you will notice that both sides of the bed do have little stands and power outlets. So folks with, say, uh, sleep apnea or just the breathing machines or alarm clocks, or you just want to charge your cell phone, this is the trailer to do it with. Not to mention the fact that, like I said, things like your awning, everything is just push-button simple. You do have a master control center right here. You simply hit the retract button. You let the awning roll itself up and do the work for you. You don't have to go outside in the rain and get pummeled by the elements to put your awning away. You don't even have to put on pants. Um, though, you know, I do recommend you do so for the kids' sake. <laughs> so give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.